My name is Noah Tishby and I'm a huge fan. It saddens me that we have to meet under these circumstances. However, there is a war going on in my country. I have a few things to say about your monologue since, as you said, some things need a lot of context and others are just wrong. So I'm going to point out where you're just wrong. First, when the foreign ministry calls the conflict at Sheikh Jarrah a real estate dispute, they mean that the deed of these homes in that very contested neighborhoods have been held by one party and the party who currently lives there are not paying rent and have not paid rent for 20 years knowing full well what would happen should anyone try to do anything about it. Also, the guy you've interviewed who's claiming that children are being thrown out of the windows I'm pretty sure he's confusing it with Hamas militants throwing their Palestinian Authority brothers out of the windows when they took Gaza by force in 2006 and did exactly that because the Israelis have never done anything like that and suggesting so borderlines slander. Also, Hamas didn't fire over a thousand rockets. They fired over 3,000 rockets straight into cities around the country pointed directly at civilians. And I just wonder how many rockets would you tolerate before retaliating? I would say one. And yes, the rockets did not achieve their goal for a very clear reason. The reason is that Israel protects its population and Hamas does not. You point out to the horrific fact that the Palestinians suffered 10 times more casualties than the Israelis, and it's true. But this speaks not to the severe power imbalance, but to the fact that Israel is protecting its population with bomb shelters everywhere. And yes, the missile defense system it has developed for exactly this reasons, rockets from Gaza, which evidently lands on our head every couple of years. Israel has the Iron Dome to do exactly that. It's not like they invented it for fun, right? Hamas, on the other hand, does not build shelters or uses its billions of dollars from the international community and from Israel to build protection schools, hospitals, or even a power plant. It uses that money to build terror tunnels underneath Gaza and buy ammunition, all courtesy of also Iran. So yes, as long as Hamas keeps controlling Gaza, there will sadly be more casualties on the Palestinian side because that's exactly what Hamas wants. And to use this snarky tone when talking about the Israeli army destroying it as humanely and possible as possible and even warning people to evacuate before it does this, I don't want to cry trigger, but it's offensive at best. And it's not a war crime and it's Hamas headquarters and they do send a courtesy warning text in advance. Please don't use that snarky tone when the Israeli army is trying to save human lives. And the before and after memes, they were terrible. I will give you that. It's hard for any normal person to fathom that we are dealing with an enemy who would literally use children as human shields. We're dealing with an enemy who not only does not care to die, they want it for the ticket to heaven and 72 virgin. This is not hyperbole. It's the reality in the Middle East on the ground and the reality Israel's been dealing with for nearly a century. The fact is that the citizens of Gaza don't have the Iron Dome like the citizens of Israel do is because Hamas does not want its citizens to be protected. They want them dead. And yes, they have been living under a suffocating blockade, a blockade put on them by Israel and Egypt. Both are trying to stop Hamas since Israel withdrew out of Gaza unilaterally 14 years ago. And since so clearly memes have now replaced morals, let me give you another one. Free Gaza from Hamas. But what you're really saying is that you won't be able to be objective, feel the pain, or understand the Israeli side unless more Jews die. I'm just gonna leave it there for a second. Now let me give you some adjustments on your monologue. It's more of a direction kind of a note rather than a content one, okay? It's not Israel has the right to defend itself, but it's Israel has the right to defend itself. Full stop. And yes, a real friend would tell me when I'm being an asshole, but not if I'm being an asshole to someone who's literally trying to kill me and would kill our entire group of friends to make his point too. And now, this.